Good morning. Peace. I hope everybody's doing really good. <laughs> There's a There's a bead bear in Russian. That's what I was told. So I don't know if it's true, but that's what I was told. Ursa, she's a good girl. My question is, can we find heaven on earth? That's my question. What do you think? What does that mean? I think that you have to define something before you can find it. So how do you define heaven? It's pretty, it's up for a pretty big debate, but uh, who wants to talk about it? <laughs> Maybe Ernie wants to talk about heaven, heaven on earth. I know you're going to leave me a good comment. I appreciate your comments, man. Heaven on Earth. So, and it's basically the struggle that we have within. The, whether it's pain or joy, and everybody has it. Everybody has the pain and everybody has some of the joy, <laughs> in my opinion. So people have a lot more pain, or they show you their pain a lot more. That's what I should say. Let me show you the pain I'm in. And people get really creative with that. Showing their pain. So sometimes life doesn't feel like heaven at all. Not with all the major tragedies going on in the world. And atrocities and horror. It's like, what? You're going to talk about heaven? How is that possible? What the heck? <laughs> I hope I don't bumble too much. <laughs> what the heck, though? I guess to understand heaven, or what heaven would be like, you have to also understand the opposite of what heaven would be. Maybe not experience all of it, hopefully not, but you would have to have an understanding for the opposite, right? In order to find out what is really the best, of heaven because <laughs> there is an opposite in all things it's kind of like you know uh, to know what you like and what you do not like that's positive and negative right there there's a positive and negative uh, structure to every um, you know molecule and atom space <laughs> I think a lot of people think that space is heaven. When an image comes to my mind, it's like you have a lot of space, is the feeling. Now, hell, you'd probably be living on top of each other. <laughs> That's why everyone's... <laughs> suffering. Nobody likes each other there. <laughs> then that sounds very similar to what hell on earth would be, is being stuck somewhere you really, really, really don't like being. Or feeling that way. Whether you are or you're not. You know, some people are in solitary confinement. I'm sure that that is enough to drive someone totally insane, having to sit there with themselves. Having to think about their own pain.
the suffering that they caused, and now they're going to be making reparations for that in some way. That's a scary thought, you know, for... I'm not going to mention any names, but there's a lot of people that have gotten arrested lately, really big named people, and, uh, man, that would, I'm sure they are terrified, because, you know, whatever pain they were going through, they inflicted onto everyone else, and... You know, it's kind of like when the, the old saying, when the poop hits the fan. And, uh, you know, some people act like they are the poop going through the fan because it gets on and affects, you know, it's like this, like the world knows about it. It's so bad. What is the world going to do, you know? How can this be helped, you know? Um, how is humanity going to learn from this, I guess? What are we going to do about it as people that hopefully, you know, care about the big picture for humanity, you know? Hey, I care about you. I don't know you, but I care that you live a good life, that you get to have what you need and want and you know um that's my idea of heaven on earth would be that it's hard to express it's like it's it's about giving and being kind and which is can be really hard to do around someone throwing a temper tantrum or, you know, it's hard to be giving in that situation. It's hard to be understanding. I think of the videos on YouTube that are about the Karens of the world and... You know, um, it's hard to want to care about Karen after that. It's hard to want to listen to what she has to say. Why is what's going on with this lady that she's having a temper tantrum? Like a little baby. So, I like the old quote, do not cast your pearls to swine. Now, what does that actually mean is another question. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but the swine is usually represents gluttony, greed, Something that is dirty, it wallows in its own filth. And we all know that misery loves company. And so when, you know, when these people get in trouble, or before they are found out, they want to make sure that they take as many people with them as possible so that they weren't the only ones that were the most naughty, most disgusting. Because they know when they get found out that the world will be shocked into caring. And it isn't that we didn't care before, but everyone was so terrified to come forward. Why? Because it calls for a certain scrutiny to come calling And most people do not like to be ridiculed. In fact, I don't think I know anybody that likes ridicule. You 
Ridicule is the heart of unrequited love, in my opinion. But the cool part is that you don't have to listen to anyone else, ever. And if they are someone who ridicules, you don't ever have to see them again or talk to them again if you don't want to, or just block out everything that is said because you know it comes with a heavy price, whatever it is. Oh, baby kitty. So if nobody likes to be ridiculed, <laughs> or, I mean, it's true, I think. We would like to think that everybody likes us, maybe, I don't know, you know. Uh, it, it would be a nice feeling to think that you are liked. Uh, or, you know, but I, but it's important to say who, <sighs> well, it's complicated. It's complicated. I can't say that I've ever been well liked by very many people. Um, you know, that's not something I can claim. I think I've only ever been friends with probably actual uh, maybe four people <laughs> in my lifetime who I felt closer enough to talk to talk to close enough to talk to you know or to say more than just a few sentences to. And of course that doesn't include my family who, you know, they're my confidants. And of course I do believe in God. So God is my number one. And this little kitty going number two. <laughs> you kidding? Oh, look at this little lady. She's such a good girl. Hi. And you're super good at being a little lady that gets in trouble. In the plants. Her idea of heaven is to explore everything. She thinks that every single thing is her playground and toy. Every space has to be checked. She lives like there is no... nothing else except to explore. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> How great would it be to have the curiosity of a cat? And not just a cat, she's still a kitten. She's like seven months old or something. The exploration, you know, the adventure of that kitty. What's out there? What's waiting for me? <laughs> she definitely tries to sneak out. We try to keep her in because it's dangerous out here for a little kitty. And we want her to live a long time. So we have to watch her real close because she tries to sneak out. Little lady. Well, I guess I asked enough questions to everybody. <laughs> Hope everybody has a really good day. Stay safe and protected.
I don't want to tell anybody what to do, but, uh, you know, I think to find heaven on earth, you got to look for your softer side. So big hugs to everybody. Have a heart. Take a care. <laughs> Humanity needs to pull together. I believe in us. I know we can do it. I know hearts are going to change from cold to warm. And maybe it's all because of the, uh, you know, what's going down on the news right now with all those popular people going down. Maybe, uh, maybe because of them, we are going to learn our lesson. If that's the case, then that would be heaven on earth, learning our lesson. I say thank you, God. If it helps make things better, because there's we gotta, how are we going to deal with it? That's the question. What are our manners going to be? Are we just going to sling more pain at everyone? Road rage? Let's see how we act. <laughs> I'll be watching. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.